Okay. We're going to go ahead and show you um, how to use BitVoicer. A uh, little program. Anyway, hopefully you've already done your activation here. Um, if you haven't, you won't be able to communicate with your microcontroller. So we're going to create a new file. We're going to go ahead and save as. We're going to call it Autobot underscore instruct one. So this is the first video part of our instructable. Okay. So we've already saved it. Now we want to go in here and we want to go to preferences. Um, if you were have this ready to go, everything's done, you want to go ahead and hit this open bit, bit voicer when you log into the computer. You also want to activate your speech, re speech recognition when BitVoicer starts. Okay, so you'd go ahead and click these, and you also it also asks for your default profile basically. So you go in here and you'd select your Autobot Instructable One. Okay, so it says, okay, that's what I'm going to load when the computer starts. We're not going to do that now, so we're going to go ahead and take that off. Normally, when you come in here, this is off. Um, acceptable, acceptable confidence level. I think when I originally started this was around 60. Your minimum audio level was eight. Um, haven't really messed with these. You'll have to play with these two to get them right for your voice, your accent, the sounds in your home, stuff like that. Um, but uh, for example, when my daughter tries to use it, I have to lower this quite a bit. It doesn't like her voice at all. Um, the other thing it's gonna ask you is about your communication. Now, if you haven't got your license key and you click this, it's going to tell you you need to buy a license, okay? It will not let you communicate until you've bought a license, okay? So hopefully you've already connected your Arduino at some time and know what your port name is going to be, whether it's COM345, whatever it is, depends on where you plug it into. Um, and 9600 is our bits per second for our serial port and all that stuff. We know that's what we're going to set it up with. Okay, so it gives you the option to use your computer's default microphone, or you can actually hook up a microphone to your microcontroller. Essentially what that does is it processes the voice at the microcontroller, sends the signal back to the computer, the computer processes the signal and sends it back to the microcontroller with a command. To me, that's a whole lot of wasted computation on the microcontroller when your computer is more powerful. Okay, so what I would do is I would stick the with the computer default microphone don't worry about using the um, microcontroller microphone or putting one on there at this point. Uh, we're going to concentrate on using the computer's default microphone. So we're going to go ahead and save that. We're going to save our file. Okay. Here we want to make sure this default command data type for the first part of this is INT. Okay. Um, as we do that, we're going to add a new sentence. Uh, we're going to leave this single option checked. I'll explain the option in a second. Um, we're going to type in some different options here. Okay. Let me rephrase that. This is an option. Uh, we're not doing multi-tiered. Um, we're going to add in some different options here for different lights. So we got a master bed light. Okay. And as I'm going through this, you'll notice that, of course, uh, as I mentioned, this is part of a bigger project. So this is basically piece one. Okay, so uh, eventually you're going to be able to tell what exactly I'm doing as I'm typing this out. Uh, another thing here, uh, I first tried this with hall light. Um, but in another command later, we use all light. It has a hard time distinguishing between those, so try and make them quite a bit different for your commands here. Okay, so hallway light, we got.
and that's it for that. Um, now you remember I said we use pin 32 to 53. Okay, we set these up as an INT because the way we're going to set up the Arduino sketch is to use the pin number. Okay, so we want to just put in the pin numbers here. There's no quick and easy way to do this. So just go through and put in all the pin numbers you can. Now, obviously you see I ended with 51 there. Okay, there's a reason for that. Um, we're going to go up here, we're going to change this to a string, and we're going to add a new sentence. I'm going to say awning. This is a single option. We're going to add a new item here and change this to an option in, out. Okay, we're going to add another one. Slide. In. Again, you want to make sure that the option is selected if you're doing options out. Otherwise, you get errors. When you scroll down here, you'll see awning in and out are both strings, slide in and out are both strings. Um, still have some testing to do on my end for my bigger project to make sure this is going to work, but um, I always use one for on and um, zero for off in these types of situations. Okay, so we've set that up. We want to go ahead and save it. So we're done with that portion of BitVoicer. We went ahead and set up a couple different inputs here. <laughs> um, basically, the awning is 52 and the slide is 53, but we'll get to that later. Um, in the next part, we're going to go ahead and set up the Arduino. Uh, with the sketch, uh, we'll do a text portion of that where we explain what everything is, and we'll also do a video um, to show it as well as, as we type it out. So this is what we've got so far. Um, our Bitvoicer uh, profile um, is done. Again, make sure you hit save. Um, you can hit start here and kind of test it out if you want to. You can say... Uh, you know, outdoor kitchen light. Um, and you'll notice that it's saying command sent to serial port. Um, we don't have anything sketched in the Arduino right now, so it's not actually doing anything. Um, the other thing that you'll notice is um, as I'm sitting here talking, it's trying to see what I'm saying about what light where. Okay, there's a way to stop that. So we're going to go ahead and stop this. You see this use activation word here. If you don't click this and put in something here, I usually use Autobot, okay? And we're gonna say five seconds. If you don't put something in here, it's all the time gonna be trying to read what you say and turn it into a command. Um, so if you say light in any kind of conversation, you know, anything remotely close to any one of these, it's gonna start doing some funky stuff with your lights. So you want to put in some kind of activation word. So we went ahead and saved it again. Okay, now if we start it, we can say table light, we can say anything we want. Now, see, I said table light, main light. And you'll see, now it says act word not recognized. So it's not going to try and do anything. It's not going to send the command to the serial port. So we say Autobot, table light. See, now the command was sent to the serial port. Okay, so we say Autobot, table light. Alright, so you see what we're doing there. There's no table light on, table light off, anything like that. And the reason for that is we're going to toggle it based on its current state. Um, if you do it on, off, it's going to end up a bunch of if-else statements. And you really don't want to do that. Um, so we'll show you how that goes in the next part of the tutorial. Thanks for watching.